Queen, as you would expect, is an incredibly stoic um, person. She described it as, as, as having left a huge void uh, in her life. However much one tries to prepare oneself for, for something like this, it's, it's, still, a, it's still a dreadful shock and, and uh, we're still trying to come to terms with that. And it's very, very sad. Good morning, Britain. Remembering the grandfather of the nation, touching tributes from Princes Andrew and Edward as the world unites to mourn the death of the Duke of Edinburgh. Gentle and peaceful, the Countess of Wessex shares the Duke's final moments and reveals that despite her own grief, the amazing Queen is still thinking of others. Brothers reunited, Prince Harry is reportedly back in Britain and could walk shoulder to shoulder with the Duke of Cambridge as part of their grandfather's funeral procession on Saturday. Throughout the morning, we pay tribute to the man who dedicated his life to serving his country, the war hero who became Her Majesty the Queen's strength and stay for more than 73 years, Prince Philip, the Duke of Edinburgh. Also this morning, England opens up for business as coronavirus restrictions are eased again. But a warning from the Prime Minister, behave responsibly. All the latest on the next stage of the roadmap, out of lockdown. That's ahead. Monday, 12th of April, 2021. Live from Television Centre in London. This is Good Morning Britain with Susanna Reid and Kate Garraway. Good morning, Britain. It is just came, coming up to two minutes past six, and we begin with our main news, of course, this morning. A family in mourning over the loss of a father, grandfather, and great-grandfather. 